Hello, RPG Don here. On this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to create in-game cutscenes. For this cutscene, I'll have the player on this map, have someone walk up to them, have the player go to another map, and into a house, have a bit of dialogue, then let the player roam free. To start, we're going to go to the event mode, choose where we want our player to be, and click it twice. We won't put our actual player here, we'll put the image of our player on an event. So I'll put the walk image of my player here, Name the event something I'll remember. I'll call it Haley. Apply and OK. Now I want the person to walk up to them to start, but back here. I'll double click, change the image to the walk image, name this event, apply and OK. Now we'll make a separate event that will control our cutscene. Put this event somewhere that won't disturb you later on. I'm going to put mine up here. Set the priorities below characters so that your players won't run into this. Trigger Auto Run, then click your first black diamond. Tab 2, set move in route. Choose the event we want to work on by clicking on your Dropbox. We will start with check, then under transparent, put on. We will OK, then go to our next black diamond, and have our player have some dialogue. Under the black diamond, tab 2, set move in route. I will go back to check, Choose Transparent Off, so he will appear at this point. Then click Move Down 5 times to have him walk to my player. I choose 5 because he's 5 spaces away from my player at the current moment. I'll make sure Wait for Completion is checked and click OK. So far, Check will be invisible. Haley will say where am I. Then Check will become visible and walk down to her. Now, I will make both of them have a bit of dialogue to each other. Each dialogue will be on its own black diamond. Once the dialogue is complete, I will want Haley to walk off the map. Since she is 6 squares away, on the last black diamond, tab 2, set movement route, choose Haley, move down 6, then choose transparent on, OK, then under a black diamond under that, tab 2, tint screen, and put red, green, and blue all the way to the left. Click OK when you're ready. The final step on this event, a new black diamond, Tab 2, Movement, Transfer Player, and move them to our next map. Click OK. Apply when you're ready. And once we have this done, we can move on to our next map. We will make a new event where they enter here. Give our image back. Put the same image we used earlier. And name our event. I will call this event Haley 2. I will click my black diamond. Tab 2. Set movement route, choose my new event, Haley 2, and put transparent off. Click OK. Now a new black diamond, tab 2, tint screen, and put our screen back to normal. You can click the normal button if the bars aren't already back in the middle. Click OK. Now I will give her some text. I will now make her walk down to the house and go inside. I'll click a new black diamond, tab 2, set movement route, Click move down seven times. Now turn right so she'll face right. Walk right twice by clicking move right twice. Turn up to make her face my door. Then switch transparent on to make her disappear. I'll click OK and apply. The last thing for this event, click a new black diamond, tab 2, transfer player, and put her in the house. I'll apply and OK. Now we can go in the house, click where I added her, put our image again, name it Haley 3 and give her some text. Under this, we'll click our black diamond, tab 2, character, change transparency and transparency off. We'll make sure that our priority is below character and our trigger is auto run. Apply OK and do the same for your event on this map, below character and auto run. Back to this map. Our final step here to prevent this event from looping is to click our black diamond, tap 1, control self switch, self switch A on, a new event page, and under conditions, self switch A. Apply and OK. We will do the self switch for our other two events. Go into the map, the last black diamond, control self switch A on, a new event page, and conditions, self switch A on, apply and OK. I will do this for my first event as well. 
Once this is done, go back to your original map and set the starting point. It won't matter where they are since they'll be invisible to the end of our cutscene. We'll want to go to our database cogwheel, system, and then click start transparent to make sure they're not there. Click apply and OK. Once you have all this done, we can test our game. Make sure you save your changes before testing. Now that our events are done, we can walk around. I will make an event so that we can leave our house to test if our other events will stop. I'll double click my event spot, press black diamond, tab 2, transfer player, and change the spot to down here. Priority below characters, I trigger a player touch. Apply, then we can retest our game. Even though we switched to this map, our event does not replay. That's it for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of what I should make a tutorial about, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.